Integrated Interactive System AN3 Installation Instructions The Integrated Interactive System is an all-in-one solution optimized for finger touch interactivity that brings the best in screen technology and mounts together to create a system pairing for the Epson Brightlink and Brightlink Pro. Determining Location Determine location of studs behind drywall and mark four locations for projector mount wall bracket attachment over studs. Use the installation template included to assist in placing and installing the AN3 mounting system. Place template against wall with top edge of screen line placed at desired location. Important! Be sure there is a minimum of one inch between the top of mount and the ceiling. See installation template. Installing projector mount wall bracket. Loosen two flathead cap screws on projector mount wall bracket. Slide wall bracket uprights to corresponding width of studs. Tighten two flathead cap screws on wall bracket. Note, for wood or steel stud walls, mark at least two locations over studs for attachment a minimum of 16 inches apart and a maximum of 24 inches apart. For concrete walls, Mark at least two locations for attachment, a minimum of 16 inches apart. Drill one pilot hole at each location marked in step four and follow fastener information, appropriate for wall type, located in table one. Install four fasteners appropriate for wall type through outer holes of projector wall mount bracket into pilot holes and tighten. Installing Screen Mounting Bracket The distance between the screen mounting bracket lower mounting holes and the projector mount wall bracket mounting holes varies and is dependent upon whether the projector is a lamp model or laser model. See Figure 5. Fasten screen mounting bracket to wall using fasteners appropriate to wall type. Installing Adapter Plate to Projector Note, different quantities of fasteners are used for lamp projectors and laser projectors. Attach adapter plate to projector using the correct number of fasteners for the type of projector. Lamp projector, use four M4 by 10 millimeter Phillips flathead screws. Laser projector, use five M4 by 10 millimeter Phillips flathead screws. Attaching projector mount assembly. Note, the projector mount assembly ships with the boom arm preset to the correct depth. However, depth adjustment may be necessary dependent upon the wall's vertical plane. Lift projector mount assembly up to projector mount wall bracket and hook top edge onto cross plate of wall bracket. Loosely install two 1 quarter 20 by 5 8 inch hex head bolts. Installing projector and routing cables. Make sure latch on projector mount assembly is in unlocked position and remove key from projector mount. Lift projector with attached interface and slide buttons on interface into slots on projector mount assembly. Slide latch to locked position to lock projector in place. Lock with key. Connect power cable, video cable, touch sensor cable, and control pad cables. Use zip tie-off points near the projector interface and on projector mount. Route cables through boom arm. The control pad cables, two USB and one remote cable, should be laid on top of screen mounting bracket so they can be run down the side of the screen to the control pad. Installing screen. Important. Use at least two people when lifting and installing screen. Handle the frame and back of screen and avoid touching the front of screen. Stand screen up and add leveling feet to each corner on the back of screen. Do not over tighten. Hang screen onto screen mounting bracket, placing slots in bracket on back of screen over tabs on screen mounting bracket. Ensure the cables are placed over the projector during installation of screen and then along the side of the screen so that they are accessible for later steps of the installation. Level screen against the wall by placing a level against the front of screen and adjusting the level feet. Continue to adjust until screen matches the wall's vertical plane. Image alignment. Using remote control included with projector, press power button on the remote control or projector control panel. Press menu button. Select Easy Interactive Function from the Extended menu. Select Touch Unit Setup. Select Installation Pattern. The installation pattern is displayed on the projected image. 
Use the center mark on the top frame of screen, red tape at top of frame, to line up with vertical line at center of pattern. Focus the image. Slide the air filter cover latch. Open the air filter cover. Raise or lower the focus lever to sharpen the image. Projector mount adjustments. Important. Macro adjustment knobs are only for large adjustments. Use smaller micro adjust knobs to make minor adjustments. For roll adjustment, turn micro adjust knob 1 as required. For yaw adjustment, turn micro adjust knob 2 as required. For pitch adjustment, turn micro adjust knob 3 as required. For horizontal adjustment, turn macro adjust knob 4A as required. Loosen two hex head bolts under projector mount assembly. Slide projector mount assembly left or right as necessary. For zoom adjustment, turn macro adjust knob 5A as required. Loosen two hex fasteners on boom arm. Slide boom arm in or out as necessary. For vertical adjustments, turn Macro Adjust 6A as required. Loosen two hex head bolts. Rotate clockwise to raise arm and counterclockwise to lower arm. Adding screen brackets to screen. Important, be sure to install all five screen brackets to ensure rigidity of the installation. After image alignment, use three screen brackets along bottom of screen and locate brackets as close to outer corners as possible. Install screen brackets to wall using one number eight by one and a half inch screw into back of each screen bracket. Fasten brackets to channel in screen frame using one number eight by half inch self-drilling screw per screen bracket. Installing sensor bracket and touch sensor. Important. Center of screen is marked at the center of the top frame by a removable strip of red adhesive tape. The touch sensor mount assembly should be centered at this mark. The touch sensor is included with the Epson projector, not with this all-in-one whiteboard mount. Center sensor mount assembly over screen and mark mounting holes, one on left and one on right. Install sensor mount assembly using one number eight by one and a half inch screw into each side of sensor bracket. Loosen screw at bottom of the touch sensor front and remove and keep touch sensor cover. Attach touch sensor cover to sensor mount assembly by placing two mounting holes in touch sensor over pins on face of sensor mount assembly. Attach touch sensor cable to the touch sensor. Calibration. Important. The interactive pens that shipped with the projector must be calibrated before calibrating the rest of the system. Calibrate interactive projector pens before other system calibrations. Using the remote control, select user button. Follow directions on the screen to complete pen calibration. Once the pens are calibrated, you will calibrate the touch function of the interactive projector. Calibrating the touch function. Select Easy Interactive Function from the Extended menu. Select Touch Unit Setup. Select Power and set to On. The Touch Unit Power turns on and the indicator light turns blue. Select Angle Adjustment. Select Installing the Touch Unit without the bracket. The Angle Adjustment screen is displayed. Then, press the button on the remote control. Turn the adjustment styles on the touch sensor counterclockwise just until you hear a click. Do not overturn. Then, press the return button on the remote control. Attach the two magnetic markers, included with the BrightLink projector, to the positions shown on the projected image. Match the positions so that the crosses overlap with the points on the marker positions noted on the projected image. Move the marker over the projected cross until the lines of the cross align with the lines on the marker. When circles with the same color as the marker positions are displayed on the left and right of the screen, turn the adjustment dials on the touch sensor to move the blue and green circles inside the target of the same color on either side of the screen. 
When the circles on the left and right become solid, press the return button on the remote control. The following screen is displayed. Place the markers at the top marker positions. When angle adjustment is performed correctly, the upper circles become solid. Place the markers at the bottom marker positions. When angle adjustment is performed correctly, the bottom circles become solid. When the marker positions have been checked, remove the markers and press the button on the remote control. The following screen is displayed. Swipe through the dots with your finger as shown. When the angle adjustment has been done correctly, the dots will disappear. Finger touch operations may not function correctly if you are wearing bandages, artificial nails, nail polish, or anything else that may obstruct your fingers. Installing control pad, remote holder bracket, and marker tray. Fasten two control pad plates to back of control pad included with projector using four 832 by 38 inch Phillips head screws. Fasten side of control pad bracket against screen using two number eight by half inch Phillips head screws. Fasten bracket to wall using a number eight by one and a half inch Phillips head screw. Install control pad by slipping the control pad plates that were installed on back of control pad into the slots on the control pad bracket. Connect cables from projector mount to connectors in control pad. Install the remote holder bracket to the top of the control pad bracket and attach using one 832 by 3 8 Phillip head screw. Attach marker tray at any point along bottom of screen using two number eight by half inch self-drilling screws. Adding covers. Reattach the touch sensor cover using the retained fastener still remaining in the cover. Lower the upper cover onto the projection mount. Raise the lower cover to the projection mount and fasten through upper cover, lower cover, and into wall mount with two 832 by half inch Phillips pan head screws. Place wall bracket top covers over top of each mounting bracket arm. Secure wall bracket top covers to wall bracket arms by installing four 832 by half inch Phillips pan machine screws through holes in covers and wall bracket. Repeat previous steps for remaining wall bracket arm. Lower AN3 sensor cover over touch sensor placing bottom tabs in channel on top of screen frame, clicking it into place, and attach cable channel back to wall vertically between the projector mount assembly and the touch sensor cover.